Hello everyone, my name is Jacob and today I should be building the Airspeed Horsa military glider in Minecraft. Alright, so today we have a very unusual airplane, um, at least unusual from my point of view or from my standards. Um, so as I said, this is an airplane uh, that is made or was made by a company called Airspeed. Uh, it was made uh, by the British during World War II and it was called the Horsa. Now the, uh, the most interesting part uh, of course uh, is uh, that as you can see it has no engines first of all. Um, that's kind of uh, very interesting and telling. Uh, also it's quite large as you can see. Uh, and looks like a sort of a cargo airplane, uh, at least I would say so. Well, in fact, this is a World War II era uh, military glider airplane. Um, so, let me go into uh, details about military gliders. Um, this is a very interesting subject and uh, I would uh, urge you to look it up yourself and uh, read about it. Um, but. I um, didn't actually know that uh, there were any or uh, much use uh, of gliders during World War II. Um, I just didn't really think about it uh, until I read um, some stuff uh, on the on the subject matter, and I found out that there was actually a whole bunch of different um, glider airplanes uh, during World War II, and uh, they had a very specific and very interesting role. Uh, so basically, if you think about it, um, during World War II, uh, there were the first um, paratroop um, sort of uh, action battles, I guess. Uh, so basically, it was the first time in history that paratroopers, uh, that is soldiers with, um, with uh, parachutes, would be dropped um, and uh, into... I guess enemy territory uh, and uh, they would uh, fight the enemy um, that way so it was uh, a way around the um, ground fighting I guess uh, uh, and it was a very very revolutionary thing uh, at that time of course uh, pioneered by the Germans um, and uh, of course being Germans they had to uh, obviously develop some stuff to uh, put that tactic into into reality so um, instead of just uh, dropping all of the soldiers and uh, all of their personal gear on uh, like personal parachutes from like a, a transport airplane or uh, or stuff or something like that uh, they would instead uh, put um, like 10 soldiers into a, a military glider uh, or a glider um, they had a special they had a special glider uh, they had a couple of gliders actually the Germans did um, and uh, they had like a, a 10 man version and I think some larger ones after after that um, but they started quite small with small gliders and the main advantage um, if you think about it uh, was of course that uh, if you drop your soldiers with just parachutes you can't um, they won't be at the same place when they uh, hit the ground so basically um, either like winds or, or stuff uh, or other stuff can uh, sort of um, I don't know uh, displace them uh, around the battlefield and they won't be able to uh, fight as a group immediately because first of all when they uh, drop um, they will have to regroup on the ground and after that they will be able to fight uh, so obviously that takes precious time and uh, when they are uh, when they are not as a group they're uh, much uh, easier targets of course um, so the Germans wanted to uh, counter that with uh, a, uh, an invention and that was the military glider, that I mentioned was the military glider. So basically, the way this would work was, instead of putting like 10, uh, 10 soldiers into an airplane and dropping them with their parachutes, they would put 10 soldiers into a glider, 
and then they would uh, tow that glider with another airplane, um, usually some sort of um, multi-engined airplane like a bomber or something. Um, so basically they would tow them with, the, with that airplane and uh, just before uh, the just before the airspace of of the enemy, I guess the 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 bomber or the the tow airplane would um, would uh, disengage with the with the glider and uh, go and fly away, and the glider would continue um, to glide downwards uh, into enemy territory and pretty much land uh, as soon as possible, and. Uh, these things were equipped with um, landing gear that was suitable for uh, rough landings. So they usually had uh, some sort of skid on the front and maybe on the sides as well. Um, and that would uh, make them uh, easier, uh, that would help them to land um, in this sort of conditions. Also these airplanes uh, were considered more or less um, more or less sort of uh, they were they were they weren't really um, very valuable because obviously if you think about it you're not gonna recover very many of uh, those gliders uh, after after you use them so basically they were made out of the cheapest materials um, that was of course wood and uh, just canvas and those were usually not very uh, strategic materials not like alu aluminium, which was used for other airplanes, um, and uh, they were they were able to build a lot of them because of that. Uh, they had some very clever uh, structural and engineering sort of um, differences and uh, peculiarities because of that sort of design, um, and uh, overall uh, quite cool stuff. So. As I said before, the Horsa was actually a British uh, glider, so uh, I didn't explain this, but uh, as I said before, the Germans were the first to invent this, uh, this sort of tactic, but then uh, after that, uh, pretty much every other nation uh, fighting in World War II also adopted some sort of military glider for their, uh, for their troops, um, and obviously they had their own uh, different versions. Uh, many of them were quite large actually. This one uh, I think was about a 30 person glider, uh, which is quite a lot. Uh, here you can see two in uh, with comparison to like a, a Liberator over here. Um, and you can see it's pretty large. It's, it's pretty much the same size as the Liberator. And obviously to tow it you would need something bigger than the Liberator. Uh, something more powerful. Um, so anyway. Um, so when they would land with this uh, airplane, they would uh, just um, open the, the door, either it was on the side, on, on the back or somewhere, and the soldiers would come out. Um, the, uh, also a large advantage was that you could load uh, not only soldiers into this sort of airplane, but you could also load uh, some other equipment, uh, maybe like a jeep or an artillery piece, maybe an anti-tank uh, gun. Um, and uh, that would also give the soldiers an advantage because the, the vehicle or the equipment would be readily available to them when they landed and they could use it all uh, right away. Um, so that was pretty good. Uh, the, the airplanes were piloted by uh, just a separate pilot and then the, the crew was, uh, the fighting crew was separate. Um, and uh, I think that's pretty much it. So I think I've rambled enough. As I said, it's a very, very interesting topic, at least for me. I didn't know a whole bunch or, or, or anything about this before I uh, looked it up and read it. Um, so I urge you to, uh, to read it yourself because, to read it yourself because it's really interesting. Uh, but I will um, start building this thing. Alright, we might as well like build it around here somewhere. Um, so, we're gonna have the landing gear. And it's it's quite a simple uh, setup for the landing gear. We got this uh, three, um, three, three gear uh, setup uh, with some reinforcements uh, because as I said, these things were intended for a sort of a rough landing. 
uh, so those were quite necessary. As I said, some of these airplanes had skits, um, and um, they would uh, use some sort of a, a dolly um, to uh, get off the ground, and which would drop off, and then they would use the the skids to uh, to land. Um, of course, all made of wood as much as possible to keep the cost down, and that's that's the the most uh, genius way, the most genius sort of thing about this for me, uh, because pretty much um, the majority of the airplane was made of wood and canvas, and uh, that's actually pretty cool uh, to think about um, how they could um, sort of make their costs as small as possible and also at the same time uh, manage to have a very effective uh, airplane um, alright so let's uh, let's do the the nose first of all so it's very simple uh, it doesn't have uh, very much stuff at the nose uh, so we're just gonna expand this a bit uh, it's got a like a flat um, flat thing, flat glass pretty much at the front uh, and um, that's about it. Uh, some of these airplanes would use um, would have a single pilot, some of them would have uh, two pilots or even more uh, like uh, navigators and stuff, the bigger ones definitely. Um, some of the uh, sort of designs for the gliders would actually uh, later be used as um, transport airplanes just like power transport airplanes um, and um, obviously some would just stay as gliders uh, during the whole um, duration of the war so we have pretty much the uh, the front end here the cockpit it's like a, f a flat um, nose pretty much uh, with just a very simple glass uh, sort of uh, canopy and then if we move back from there uh, we can just have like a line going down here uh, to pretty much over here uh, so uh, you can look up the length I did um, the measurements on this one are exactly the same as the one in real life obviously one to one one meter equals one block um, so you can look up the measurements I can also count uh, count for you how long it is so uh, 3, 6, 9, 12 and 15 and then we've got um, 18 and 21 pretty much 21 blocks uh, is the length um, you can look up the, the rest of the of the measurements um, the wingspan is actually quite large obviously for a glider um, that's quite uh, quite reasonable uh, you want to have as much wing surface on a glider as, as possible uh, to keep it uh, flying as, as long as possible obviously okay so just uh, building the sides here and uh, the top uh, and I'm using these stone brick stairs to sort of round uh, round the whole surface uh, because it doesn't have a large cross section so I have to uh, use some of these to uh, make it a bit more round okay um, so this is pretty much our fuselage it's quite simple um, after this we can go to uh, we could also Let's see. Uh, we can go to making the tail actually. Okay, so that one's still a stair, and then after this one, we're gonna go for a tail. So let's uh, let's see. So the main fuselage is um, six, nine, twelve, fifteen blocks long, pretty much. And after that, it's just the tail. So uh, we're gonna go up with some stone slabs like this, and we're gonna have some blocks on the sides like that, and then we're gonna have some more stone brick stairs on top, like this. Okay, and then we're gonna expand that for one more block, and then we're just gonna have the, the end of the tail there with 
um, a bit more uh, with a slab right here and a block there okay that's pretty much our, our fuselage and then we're gonna have the vertical stabilizer that's gonna start right here uh, and then we're gonna go up one more block uh, we're gonna have some stairs on the top like this and then another stair right here there we go and then we're gonna have a couple of blocks on the back and that's pretty much our vertical stabilizer now for the horizontal ones those are pretty simple as well uh, we just have uh, them right here they're just two blocks across and uh, they are five blocks long uh, on the on the uh, leaning edge uh, so four five and four on the trailing edge and also on the other side of course there we go that's pretty nice uh, after this we can pretty much move on to the wings so the wings uh, are also quite simple uh, they're just uh, flat or uh, straight on the on the trailing edge um, very similar to other World War II airplanes uh, so we're gonna start the wing right here uh, so that is three four five six blocks from the end of the of the glass there so uh, that's uh, just a reference if you want to build this thing and we're gonna finish it um, let's see one two uh, four blocks later so one two three four blocks later there we go okay and uh, let's do the the leading edge first of all so uh, we're gonna have a row of three blocks um, or actually four and then we're gonna have uh, two more and then two slabs so one two three four blocks and then two more back here and then we're gonna have two slabs and then I think four more one two three four more blocks there uh, one two three four there we go and another one uh, as as the wing tip there we go for the the trailing edge we're gonna have um, just a couple of rows um, as I said it's just a flat a uh, flat thing so like this and like like this uh, this wing tip is gonna be on the bottom level there and uh, that's pretty much it okay and then uh, we can just fill in this part over here with uh, some blocks and uh, this part with some slabs and uh, here we have one wing uh, done uh, so now we can do the other side also let's just put some carpet on this uh, you can also make it uh, camo uh, like I did the other one I'm just gonna do this one in green uh, because I think it looks pretty cool in green as well so let's just go four blocks out one two three four and then two more and then two slabs and then four more slabs one two three four and then a wing tip there we go perfect and then we're gonna have a row of slabs here and a row of slabs right here perfect um, actually it's not perfect this goes on the other side actually so like this there we go right and then we can just fill in this part over here uh, also let's put some more stairs over here uh, put them back okay fill this in and uh, do the slabs as well and here we go we can also put some green carpet on here as well there we go that looks pretty good um, what else we can put some carpet on the on the uh, horizontal stabili stabilizers at the back um, there we go and then we can move on to the landing gear 
So the landing gear is quite heavily reinforced as I said before. It's connected to the wings. Um, and uh, it's a qu I've made it quite a weird design because it's sort of uh, all at an angle um, on the real airplane and of course I can't really do angles in Minecraft so um, let's see we are one two three blocks from the uh, from the stem of the wing and then uh, three or two blocks or on the second block uh, from the leading edge so let's uh, try and do that so uh, one two three right here okay uh, so just put this here and put this here we're gonna move the um, the fence the fence post so it's actually behind yeah it's actually behind and uh, we're gonna have a slab here and then we're gonna have the nether brick fence connected to it uh, I think it's too high too tall and then we're gonna have we're gonna go forward and connect it to the wing there okay and then we're gonna have two more supports going to the uh, to the fuselage so they're just gonna go up like this and then up again I think like that and then uh, let's just see yeah we're gonna have a block right here there we go uh, but also we're gonna have to put the slab there okay and then we can do the other side so that goes here this goes here there we go and the block and we have ourselves one finished um, military glider oh of course we're gonna need another landing gear on the other side of course we will okay let's just do let's just do that quickly so one two three there we go put it here and then um, uh, do the, uh, the slab and the nether brick fence and then forward like this and then connect it to the fuselage very important always um, like so there we go and uh, have a couple of blocks here and here with the stairs in the in between okay and uh, we're also gonna have one slab there and uh, that is that is it I think uh, for the horsa so um, of course you can dress it up with uh, some some glass like I did here for the windows they are obviously too big uh, because I can't make them smaller in Minecraft unfortunately I can also put some buttons on the wheels or, or make it camo or make it nice and cool do whatever you like but this is our um, sort of basic uh, basic Horsa airplane uh, and uh, I think it's probably enough for today um, I did mess up this this part because uh, front is actually in this direction uh, but that's fine uh, so anyway um, I really hope you enjoyed this uh, I really hope I, um, I sort of uh, unraveled some uh, World War 2 mysteries to you uh, that I sort of uh, made you aware of this cool uh, glider thing that was going on during the war um, I certainly didn't know about it and uh, I suspect many other people still don't so anyway I hope you enjoyed this video if you liked it you can press the like button and subscribe to my channel you can also check out my other videos and I will see you next time